Hello mates, OshaStall96 here, and as you can see, I've done some more off-screen training, believe it or not. This is gonna be a long video. Yes, I did, I, d I just entered several knockout challenges, and I did them off-screen. You know, because the next part of this game is gonna be pretty challenging, and I had a feeling I wasn't going to win with the Pokemon I had, with the Pokemon's levels I already had already. Now, as you've noticed, the heart gauge for Entei and Suicune has been lowered. So we're going to go to the Relic Stone and free their hearts. And I can't tell you how cheesy that sounded. Anyways. Alright, we're freeing Entei here. And remember, if you can use a Time Flute, you'll meet Celebi, but you'll not, you will not capture him unless you have a Japanese bonus disc and a Japanese GameCube, to my knowledge. And a Japanese Pokemon Game Boy for Game Boy Advance for the third generation. And it got a decent amount of experience, and it's learning Stomp. Nice. I'm getting rid of Leer. I was gonna get rid of Bite, since they're both physical moves, but, I don't know, something told me to keep Bite. And Leer's not all that bad, surprisingly. Considering the fact that it lowers both Pokemon in double battles. So. And it what, grew only five levels? Three levels? I wasn't really looking, which is just wonderful. I thought I had more experience than that. Oh, it's disappointing. Alright, now we're going to free Suicune, who I know for a fact that I, like, trained up the ass. I mean, just ever since I got it, I've been battling with it nonstop. And it's learning Rain Dance, and Jesus, that's a lot. I'm going to... Oh, Aura Beam, that's a good move. Hell yeah, I'll get rid of Leer. That's definitely a good move. It's like a weaker version of Ice Beam, but... If you're lucky, you'll get to lower the Pokemon's attack, or the target's attack. Anyways, level to 44, 45, 46, 47, not bad. Seven levels, that's not, that's, that's what I would expect. That's good, that's very good. 34, I mean 43, <laughs> really. See, yeah, as you can see, my Pokemon are pretty decently leveled now. For like five hours of non-stop training. Okay, maybe not five hours, but pretty long. Good, a good three hours or so. Even more than that, actually. Oh, right, checking the email. I forgot about that. The email you received in the last part. Hi, this is Net. If you find any data... Uh, at the Shadow Pokemon Lab, please bring it to me in the under. I'll be waiting. Okay, fine. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to deliver to um, data ROM that we received at the Shadow Pokemon Lab after we kicked Elms or Captain Eisen's ass. So, yeah. Maybe I should have fast forward this. I don't know. Oops. Oh well, who cares? So, now we're going over to. <laughs> I cut her off by Biatch. Teonda. And we're gonna go to a place, and shortly after we deliver this, uh, ROM, we're going to go to a new area that we've, well, I don't want to say we've been to before, because we've technically been there before, but, um, well, yeah. Anyways. Going here, we use the UFO, the unidentified, unidentified, unidentified flying object. Ugh, God, why was that so hard to word together? I don't know why. Get out of, oh, there, there we go. Get out of my way. Am I saying that to the stairs? Okay, whatever. Okay, descending down the stairs, going through the door, talking to the little kid with the computer. Oh, Asha Star. Hi. Oh no, this looks interesting. Let's scope it out right away. Oh hey, this data room appears to contain a list of Shadow Pokemon that have been made so far. Oh, awesome. Too bad that I played the fuck out of this game and I know every single Shadow Pokemon. Oh no, they scrambled it. Asha Star, please leave this with, with me. I'll s recover info. I'll uh, somehow try retrieving information from the data this data room. As soon as I get anything, I'll email you. So, yeah, okay, fine, thanks. I guess. Normally this would be useful, but... We're like, at the end of the game, I mean, jeez. Oh, whatever. There wasn't that many Shadow Pokemon in this game, believe it or not. In its sequel, 
Pokemon Extra Dimension Gale of Darkness. That had too many Shadow Pokemon, in my opinion. But, hey. Anyways. That was a good game. And I sold it. I'm such an idiot. I'll, I'll rebuy it someday for Amazon. And who knows? Maybe I might do a Let's Play of it. Someday. I mean, it would be pretty appropriate, wouldn't it? Let's play the sequel of this game that, uh, that's, that's, that far extends its successor. Anyways, we see a worker guy. What's up, buddy? We finally finished working on that gigantic tower. Go see for yourself. It's clean and shiny and all that good shit. Okay, fine. So, real game tower. I didn't get to read the text, but I will in a moment. Welcome to real gam gam real gam tower. At the very top of this tower is a coliseum. Ah. Oh! Anyways, and there's two Sudowoodo crystal statues. I need crystal crystal statues. An eminent or imis in uh, imisense uh, tower that was finally completed as Cypher's based. It has a coliseum on top. All right. So yeah, it's literally what I just told you. But I, all right, I guess I didn't tell you it was Cypher's base. But it is two pseudo Wudos. I mean, what does that tell you? Two pseudo Wudo statues. I mean, welcome to Real Gam, Real Gam Tower. Thank you. Surprisingly, we meet a very familiar man, or I don't know, that we haven't seen in quite a while, and that's Mayor B or Michael Jackson. So MG. Oh. You've kept me waiting around, Asha Star. You've ruined things at Pride for us, or me, I think. But you know, we're not about to lose over and over to you. Let the music play! Oh, forget it. This is, yeah, this is actually a bit unique because for the one time and only time in the game, you battle or rematch Mayor B without his theme music. That seems like a mistake. Not to mention, it's insanely lazy. So. This time, he's literally, well, not literally, like, doubled the level of his Pokemon. And he doesn't have four Ludicolos like last time. That was just fucking incredible. Um, but he does have five Pokemon, much like last time. And he replaced his Shadow Pokemon. Right, and if you fail to capture Sudowoodo the first time, this is your second time to capture him. So, yeah. You always get a second second chance with every, po with every Shadow Pokemon. It sucks that some people don't give you second chances in life. Well, whatever. Anyways, using Rain Man's but they failed. I don't know why he did it twice. Okay, maybe he was expecting one of them to die. Anyways, one of them has the, the ability Rain Dish and the other has Swift Spin, which is deadly. Swift Spin is one to And that killed a well, almost killed that day. And fire attacks are now weakened since it's raining. Which is just not anymore though, because we used Sunny Day, and it's sunny out, and he went for Leech Seed, but mm, did not miss. I thought he missed. Okay, I guess not. And uh, why did they always attack my Entei? I mean, while I was training my Entei and Suicune, and everyone in my team actually, they always attack Entei. I don't know why. They also. I don't know what it is, but like the AI always seem to attack Entei, Espeon, and Puzzle. Do they just find them to be the weaker, the weaker Pokemon? I mean, what is, what's up with that? I don't know. I, really don't. I don't know why I sent out Suicune. Maybe I just didn't feel like sending out my other two Pokemans, I guess. So using Flame Wheel on the weaker Ludicolo, who dies? Yay! And we're going to see a new Pokemon that Mayor B has, finally, which is Golduck! I don't mind Golducks, actually. And I don't know why, but who's played Pokemon in the stadium before? Have you ever, like, battled a Golduck, used Thunder on it, and it always hits? I mean, I'm not complaining or anything, but it always hits. That's weird. No complaining, I'm just saying, it always hits. Weird glitch. Back to the battle. Um, using Aura Beam. Sorry if you hear that like weird sound clearing my throat. Allergy, allergy season still upon us. Oh, throughout this entire let's play. Anyways, 
Well, there's not really much I can say. He uses the same battle tactics somewhat with his two Ludicolos. The other three Pokemon are kind of individual. individual Pokemon somewhat. Well, maybe not Golduck, because Golduck can... Golduck can get a boost from Rain Man, so I don't know. His other two Pokemon, which we'll see shortly, are a bit weak. And fairly weak. And we Getting off. I'm getting off topic here. So, oh god, there's really not much to commentate here. I don't really know what else to say. I mean, I'm just... Uh, why didn't I fast forward this? I don't know. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I'm an idiot. Okay. You guys do have to admit, this is kind of hard to commentate on it. I know it's not very professional, but I am a beginner and I will keep using that for the first two Let's Plays I do. And yes, I already have a plan for my next one. In fact, I'm going to start doing that after I finish recording several of these videos. Which is pretty cool. I may as well say... Uh, oh, this is this is something I actually just found out as I was playing this game. Uh, okay. If a Pokemon uses Dive, and your Pokemon uses Surf, it'll still hit it. I didn't know that. I, th I thought that was insanely hilarious. I was like, really? Okay, that's strange. I've never seen that before. I didn't know this until I I, I, I I was recording this battle. I was like, wow, that's funny. Um, okay. I guess you learn something new every day. And a loud red. Yes, it's not fully evolved. It's kind of strange, but it's kind of an interesting Pokemon, I have to say. But, um, yeah. Not really a threat. None of his Pokemon are really a threat. The biggest, okay, his biggest threats are the two Ludicolos, because they're bulky and they can be insanely annoying. And yeah, right there, you just saw Surf, you know, hit Ludicolo. It was so weird. I didn't know you can do that. It was so odd. I don't know. Anyways, Rain Dish. God, that loud ability is getting annoying. Anyways, Soap. Um. Finally, I kill Ludicolo with the Bustle, which is kind of a, which is kind of ironic since you know how Merrimee kidnapped this particular Bustle, and now Bustle's getting vengeance on his team. So yeah, I guess it's really ironic. Here's the Pokemon that he switches for Pseudo Ludo if you capture him, which is an Armal Armalno, which is actually fairly weak if you have a Water Pokemon, much like me. And I actually pretty much win this battle in what this turn or the next turn. And yeah, his Loudred's gone. Loudred's not a bad Pokemon, I suppose. But yeah. Plus a real level, that's nice. And so did it's weak, that's even better. And the rain stopped. Nice. So we pretty much defeated Michael Jackson. And uh oh my god, fuck you. Yeah, that's right. That's I forgot about that. Cypers will now use items. That is a mistake and an annoying one at that. Ugh. I don't like that idea. It's just tedious. Ugh, gosh. They only use it once for each Pokemon, and that's it. To my knowledge, I could be wrong. But, god, it's so annoying. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna wrap it up here. So, yeah. And I'm, <laughs> I'm getting obnoxious. I'm an awesome dancer, but I can't win at battles. What? Can't win in battles. God, excuse me. Anyways, this just won't do, but I'll admit you've beaten me thor thoroughly. Okay, since I'm done, I'll give you this. Here. You obtain the red ID badge. Think of it as a little gift from our great leader, Neskar. Don't leave without it, because you'll go nowhere. If I'm mispronouncing that name, Neskar, sorry. But, you know, maybe it might be a good idea for you to run, is what he essentially said. So, I guess I'll see you in the next part, so peace out, mites.